Meantime, we all know adverse side effects are possible when it comes to taking the COVID vaccine. Some of those symptoms, especially associated with the second shot, are COVID arm, fever, and chills. So tonight, 7 investigator Heather Catalo looks into why those are not only normal, but healthy responses. For some people, the second shot is a doozy with lots of side effects, but experts say that means the vaccine is working. People are really concerned about taking this vaccine, which is incredibly new. While Detroit has been praised for the efficiency of its vaccine rollout at TCF Center, the city's overall vaccination rates lag behind other counties. To find out what's causing vaccine hesitancy, a recent survey was done with the homeless population. The two things that we noticed were people were scared about the side effects and people didn't want to take the vaccine and die. Those fears have been expressed beyond the homeless population and beyond Detroit. I've run into many patients as well as fellow healthcare workers who have reluctance to. Dr. Leonard Johnson runs the infectious disease program at Ascension St. John in Detroit. While vaccine side effect fears are real, he points out dangerous reactions have only occurred in the rarest of cases. A mild reaction is normal. After the immune system is seen, what we call an antigen. An antigen is anything, anything foreign to our body, whether it's a vaccine, a medication, or any foreign particle like pollen or bee sting, et cetera. Upon re-exposure, the immune system then has a more significant response because it's already seen it before. With the vaccine, our body is getting exposed to an antigen with the first shot and then getting a booster with the second. That's why many individuals have reported more of a response, such as body aches, fevers, and chills, after the second shot. It's actually a sign that an immune response is being mounted. And again, that is the whole point of the vaccine. Dr. Mustafa Bora is an infectious disease doctor at Beaumont. Both he and Dr. Johnson are quick to point out that although it's normal to have a response to a vaccine, it's also fine if you don't. Not everybody will get a strong reaction. Some people get little to no reaction. So we don't want to think that some people have a more severe reaction than the others that they have a, they're going to have more protection from the vaccine. The main point is to just get the shot. We all need to be on board with this. And the fear of a vaccine reaction must not hold us back. Otherwise, we're going to delay our ability to go back to normal. Dr. Johnson says to stay hydrated before and after you get the vaccine. He says you can still plan to go to work after you get the shot. And most of the side effects start around 8 to 12 hours later and tend to peak around 36 hours later. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Certainly good information to know. Thank you, Heather.